Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a quick video on kind of like a beginner's guide to Cartier. And I am not a Cartier expert by any means. Um, the reason why I decided to do this video is because um, I don't have a Cartier store near me. And so I didn't have the opportunity to try them on again after um, I decided to make the purchase. And I was having a lot of difficulties, especially with the sizing. And so I thought I would film this to help you guys, um, those of you who are in my position where you can't go to the store to really try on the pieces, and I'm hoping this will help you. So Cartier is obviously a very well-known luxury jewelry house. Um, they have a lot of different jewelry lines. However, the two most popular would probably be the Love line and the Jostan Cru line. Um, those are the two that I have in my collections and all the information that I have is going to be based on my experience only. So, um, so yeah, like somebody might say something different. This is just how it was for me. Um, so I'm going to try to go through this by first going over the two different lines that I have in my collection and then I'm going to go over the the color variations and then finally the sizing which I think will be quite helpful for anybody who is struggling figuring out this. So the first piece that I ever got was this. It was my love wedding band and they call it the wedding band because it is a thinner design so it's a bit more daintier, more delicate. The, this one is 3.6 millimeters wide, whereas the regular love band is 5.5 millimeters. And so it is quite substantially different. This is a lot lighter. I think it's about half the weight. It does have a much, much more daintier look and they call it the love wedding band because it's thinner. So the next one that I have it, are my two Justin Crew pieces. This is the Justin Crew um, thin ring and um, it is the nail motif, which is, um, it basically looks like a nail that's been bent into a ring. And I do have the matching bracelet. And this is also the thin version. So Cartier has these items in three different types of gold. The white gold, the yellow gold, and the pink gold, which is kind of like the rose gold, but they call it pink gold. So Cartier white gold pieces are not rhodium plated unless they have a diamond on it. And so what happens is when with use, it looks, has kind of more like a stainless steel kind of look to it than like the white golds that we're kind of used to, like the shiny bright ones. And so a lot of people don't like the Cartier white gold unless it has a diamond, then it's rhodium plated and it looks absolutely stunning. And so that's something for you guys to consider. I do own two of the other metals, which is this pink gold and this is in yellow gold. And as you can see, Cartier pieces do, like the golds do not have a big variance. Um, I don't know if you can really see, but the pink gold is slightly more copper toned and the yellow gold is more yellow, but indoors it's really hard to tell. And with a lot of wear, I'm told that the pink gold loses the pinkiness of, of it when it was newer. Um, however, if you do get it polished it, at Cartier, it does bring, or, or even just cleaned at Cartier, I heard that it brings the pink back. And so, yeah, that's something to consider. I actually really like how subtly pink the Cartier Rose Gold is. And um, yeah, I really like that. Um, it's different, yet it doesn't have like a really contrasting effect. And I guess it's personal preference, but I love how... Um, how similar they are in color. So the next thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is sizing. And now sizing is the trickiest part of purchasing a Cartier piece because it really, really does fit very, very different for very different people. And even with all the guides out there, it's really hard to figure out what size is gonna work really great for you. Um, it's best if you can go to a Cartier store and try them on. But if you can't, this is just a general guideline. So with the ring, my love wedding band and my Justin Clou are both in the size 55. But as you can see, and it's really noticeable, this is smaller than this. And that's because the Justin Clou, as you can see, the nail head goes below the actual ring. And so th because of that, it really fits differently. And yeah, you really need to 
go down a size in order to make it fit like the love wedding band would so let me just share with you this this really nifty um, plastic piece you can get at bluenile.com and it's free they will send it to you for free um, and basically what it is is that it measures um, in sizes in US sizes and currently I have it in the 6.5 and this is what my right hand ring finger fits like however if you look it up because Cartier has these charts online if you go to their website where you can see what the conversion is for the for the sizes and they also have like a paper tape measure you can print out to figure out your size they also have a template where you can put your rings on and to try to figure out sizes that way but all of those didn't really work so according to this I am a six and a half in US size now in the Cartier chart it says 54 is a six and three quarters and a 55 is seven and a quarter so according to this I would be a 54 or maybe even smaller however the 55 fits me on my right ring finger and, um, and I don't really know why um, the size varies so much from the chart but um, it might be due to the fact that the Cartier um, bands are not rounded they are very um, I guess the edges are sharp and so um, it's it doesn't it's not as forgiving as some of the rounder pieces because it's just some clue is round and it's very, very forgiving. So that might be why, but definitely you want to go up a size. So I, like I said, according to this measurement, I am a 6.5, but the 55 fits me seven and a quarter. So just go up a size from what it indicates. And I think you should be okay. Um, now the just on clue I did get in the same size as my love wedding band um, because I wanted to wear this on multiple different fingers and with this um, if you can see if it's my ring finger um, although very loose it does fit my ring finger it fits my middle and it also see my knuckle is the widest part of my finger and it gets very narrow when it goes um, to the end. And so this is the part that I have to make sure that the ring goes through. And yeah, it also fits my index finger. So it's very, very forgiving. It'll fit in a lot of fingers. And then another thing that I wanted to point out is because of the love wedding band, because like I said, it has those sharp edges, what happens when you wear it on a, like it'll fit me just fine. Like you can see it goes in, but what happens is like, can you see how it has that, you know how like a, when somebody's wearing like too tight of a belt that like you can see that bulge hanging <laughs> above it? Yeah, that's kind of what I, I can put it on my middle finger, but it just makes my finger look a little pudgy because of that. You see that flesh just like kind of overhanging like a beer belly. <laughs> yeah, so, so yeah, so the Love Wedding Band is not very forgiving with size. Whereas the Cartier Juste en Clue is very, very forgiving. And especially because of this nail motif, you can see that it hangs um, below the ring. So you have that gap there. And that's where, you know, like the extra, I guess, flesh would go in and mold. And so it does fit very loosely here. But like I showed you before, it'll fit into even the um yeah and it doesn't it doesn't have that overhang can you see like it doesn't really have like that overhang going and so it looks better when it's on a finger that is bigger now this is the same 55 but can you see like i can not get it past here so yeah there is a very big difference between the 55 just include and the 55 love band just so you know so next are bracelets and bracelets are actually a little bit easier um, if you know what you're supposed to measure. So um, I did try on all three sizes, 16, 17 and 18 when I was in store before and it was a year ago. So um, I, I had to kind of like go upon like what I remembered from that, you know, that time that I was there trying it on. But if you were at home and you were trying to figure out the right size for you, then I think this would be a good guideline. So if you have a tape measure, just any tape measure, that you can wrap around your wrist 
and then just measure right where your narrowest part of your wrist is. And as you can see, I am exactly a size uh, 16 centimeters right there. So this makes it very, very easy because if you're a 16 centimeter, you want to go up one for the Justin Krula 17 and add two centimeters for the love bracelet. Because the love bracelets always fit a little bit tighter than the Justin Cruz, as I showed you from the um, rings. And so for me, I would be a size 17 in the Justin Cruz and a size 18 in the love bracelet. So the 17, I will show you how this fits on me. I just slip it onto my wrist and yeah so when i tried the 16 on in store i noticed that it would it was exactly here and it was tight around my wrist and it wouldn't move down at all so it's very very snug the 17 gives me a little bit more room as you can wow. see this is how it fits and there is movement and it goes um about one inch down from my wrist bone and for me in particular, it goes um, that much down because that's where actually my wrist gets bigger. Like you can see, like right there is where I get a little bit chubbier in my wrist. And that's how far the Just Done Crew will come down. So I did try an 18 to see if that fit was better so that it would like move a little bit more freely down my arm. What happened was the 18 size, I would be able to move it. Like if I did this, it would just twirl and you're not supposed to do that because um, um, that's what the essay said that you were supposed to make it so that it's just, it moves, but it doesn't go all the way around. And that's what it is for me with the 17. And when I tried the 18, another thing that I noticed was because this just on crew is, um, is heavier where the nail head is, what happens is it will like, it will fall to one side. So it'll always be like this or it would always be like this where my bone is. And so that was a little bit more uncomfortable for me when I tried it on in store, like I would move my wrist around and that's what would happen. And so, yeah, so this would be the perfect fit for me. And the nail head is always kind of in the center, which I really, really like. And yeah, that's how it fits me. One thing I do wanna mention with these bracelets is that they're gold. And golds are very, like they absorb heat very well. So when you're cooking, it gets hot. And I'll be like stirring spaghetti or something over the heat and I will feel it. I'll be like, ouch, and I'll have to take it off. So I don't understand how people are able to wear their love bracelets, the ones with the two screws on their right hand, because I think it would really, really hurt me to cook with that on my wrist. The great thing about the Just Done Crew is that especially in this design is that it's so easy to put on and off that I can just flip it to the other wrist and not worry about it. So that's just something I thought I'd mention because I have not heard a lot of people mention that before. about the Cartier Justin Crew and the Love um, line is that it comes in the regular version or the thin version. So which do you go for? Well, honestly, um, it, it is personal preference. The regular line is much more weightier, heftier, bolder. And so if you really like having that feeling of like gold on your wrist and your fingers, you know, it's because it is very weighty um, and you just feel like that gives it um, much more presence and that you love that really bold look, then yes, go with the regular. However, for me personally, I like jewelry that is a lighter weight that I don't know that it's on me or not. And plus, um, I feel like the daintier jewelry makes my fingers look longer, makes my wrists look thinner. <laughs> so yeah, for me personally, and then I don't um, really want to be like, bam in your face, like, oh, I have all this Cartier jewelry on. I'm a little bit more... I guess low key in that sense when it comes to my jewelry. And so the daintier look does work a lot better for me. And that's what I went for. And another thing is the price because the bolder regular line is a lot more pricier than the thin versions. And so let me just um, go over the prices of the items that I have. So the Love Wedding Band, it is. I believe 1070 so a thousand and seventy dollars so just over a thousand whereas the regular um love ring is 1650 
So that's like a good $600 difference. And the um, Justin Ku, the thin version, the SM, is um, $1,200, I believe. Whereas the regular thicker version, I believe, is $17 something. I'll have the prices listed below for you guys to refer to. So yeah, if you like the bolder look, go for it, especially in the rings. Now, the big difference comes with the bracelets because the bracelet um, in the thin version is $3,050. However, the one in the regular version is $6,800, which is, yeah, it's a lot. So, so yeah, I mean, you have to weigh out like, yes, it's a weightier, bolder, beautiful look. However, is it really worth that much more to you? And that's a really personal decision that you would have to make. Somebody pointed out that in the end, you're going to use these bracelets and jewelry pieces almost every day, which most people do when they own these pieces. So it's like every day and you're going to have it for a long, 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 long time. People usually tend to care keep it for ever, really, and pass it down. And so when you think of it like that, yes, maybe it is worth it to get the bigger, bolder pieces and then um, maybe not get a handbag the next year or something like that. If you are a luxury lover, you know you will continue to buy a few things here and there. So so yeah, it's just a call that you have to make for yourself personally. Um, again, for me, it wasn't more, it wasn't about the cost, but it was more about the look. And I feel like you still get that nice look of the um of the Cartier line in the thinner versions. I don't think they look flimsy or anything like that. And so I really do enjoy having these pieces and enjoy wearing them. And yeah, it's um it is a joy to have these on my hands every single day as I work and I get to see them and it it costs per wear because I have it on 24/7 even when I'm asleep, I usually don't take it off yeah cost per wear it's like nothing really so i hope this guide was helpful for you guys if you have any questions that i can answer i will most happily do so just let me know in the comment section below and we'll oh and don't forget that i still have that um giveaway going on it's i think we have exactly one more week so yeah it'll close on september 20th and i will do the drawing that week and i will have it videotaped and everything so you guys can see but yeah, I hope that um, a lot of you will um, join in. With that said, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I will see you in my next one. Take care, everybody.